Hi everyone, I'm Ken, and I wanted to make a short video um, describing the differences in the blocking filters for the Coronado uh, SolarMax 3 uh, line. Uh, these are the, this is, so I've got three here. This is the BF10, BF15, BF30. So BF obviously stands for blocking filter, and then a number, 10, 15, and 30. <clears throat> They look fairly similar from the outside, uh, with the exception of uh, something's going on with the front lens here that is not on these two. So I'll explain that in a in a moment. Uh, but let me go over the the similarities <clears throat> first. Um, they're all two inch nose piece, so they slip into the SolarMax three telescopes. Or if you were to get this uh, buy this separately along with a uh, front Edelon, you could put it onto your own uh, telescope with a two inch uh, focuser. So two inch nose piece. Uh, in the BF10 and 15, they unthread, <clears throat> and it's just a simple nose piece. There's no magic there. The 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 magic, the the filtering occurs uh, at least in the BF10 and the BF15 in the diagonal right here. So there are multiple filters inside here that um, uh, uh, safely block the the dangerous wavelengths from the sun and allow only the the specific hydrogen alpha light up to the eyepiece. <clears throat> Uh, and then speaking of the eyepiece, so on top here, this is an inch and a quarter uh, visual back or eyepiece adapter. Uh, so you can slip your inch and a quarter eyepiece inside. It's got T-threads here, so you can thread on uh, the 42 millimeter T-threads. You can thread on a camera, uh, small format camera, or even up to a PSLR if you wanted. Uh, and then there's a set screw that uh, clamps down onto a, a retaining ring. So this is a compression lock, so it's not going to mar the, um, the barrel of your eyepiece. So the BF10 and the BF15 work basically the same way. I don't know if you can see this, but if, you, if I point them up like that. Uh, so BF10 means it's a 10 millimeter diameter clear aperture uh, where it comes out of the diagonal. And the BF15, 15 millimeters. And therefore on the 30, you've got a 30 millimeter clear aperture. <clears throat> um, why would you pick one versus the other? So the bigger the clear aperture the bigger the unvignetted field of view around the sun that you get. Now, if you were to say, for example, uh, look at the uh, SolarMax 370 millimeter, it comes in a couple of different configurations. It comes one with a BF10 version and then another with a BF15 version. <clears throat> Why would you pick the difference? First of all, the BF10, the smaller uh, clear aperture filter is less expensive, right? It's not as big of a filter, therefore it's, it's cheaper. So it's a great way to save some money and still get a beautiful view of the sun. It, it doesn't change the wavelength or the band pass or anything else. Um, uh, it's just the clear aperture of this filter. And so what that affects is, uh, like I said, how much area around the sun you have an unvignetted view. So it doesn't darken up and, and disappear at the edges. Uh, with the included uh, 18 millimeter eyepiece that comes with uh, pretty much all of the, uh, the Coronado uh, telescopes, you get a clear view of the sun off to the edge of the sun, plus a little bit around it, and you've got an unvignetted view, even with the smaller BF10. Um, however, if you were to uh, get an eyepiece that has a wider apparent field of view, um, if you were to push higher magnification, uh, if you were to use a camera sensor with a larger format camera sensor, it's going to have a bigger area that it sees. And maybe the 10 millimeter, you're going to start to get that vignetting around the edge. So the larger BF15 or even better the BF30 uh, will give you a bigger field of view. Um, the uh, the other uh, configuration you can get these without a telescope in the middle. So like, so the SolarMax 370 comes with the the Edelon up front, the blocking field in the back, and a nice refractor in the middle, right? But you can buy a set of an Edelon and a uh, diagonal. <clears throat> and then use it on your own telescope. And in that uh, configuration, the rule of thumb is uh, at some point, if you use a longer focal length telescope, you're gonna get so much magnification that you will start to get some vignetting around the edge. So the BF10 works on telescopes up to 1000 millimeter focal length, BF15 up to 1500 millimeters, and you guessed it, the 30, the 30 up to the 3000 millimeter focal length. So keep that in mind if you're getting the set to use on your own telescope. Um, uh, instead of the, the Coronado SolarMax 3 telescopes. Another advantage of getting a larger uh, blocking filter, clear aperture blocking filter, the BF15, say, over the BF10, is if you're putting the, the telescope on a photo tripod or some other tripod that does not track the sun, right? So you aim it at the sun, 
and you let go and you watch it and it's going to slowly drift through the field of view. Well, with a bigger unvignetted field of view, the sun is going to take longer to traverse the, the, the view of the eyepiece without getting cropped off and disappearing. So uh, it comes in handy when you're using a non-tracking mount to get a larger uh, blocking filter. I talked about the BF10 and the BF15, uh, but I haven't mentioned the BF30 uh, in detail yet. And that the reason is it's a little bit different beast than the other two. Uh, remember, the BF10 and 15, all the magic happens in the diagonal. This is not a regular diagonal. This has all the blocking filters in, in there. With the BF30, this is just a standard star diagonal, and all the magic is in the two-inch um, nose piece up front. You can actually see one of the filters is, is, is up front and the rest of them inside. Um, and the reason they do that is you have more options here. You can unthread the diagonal, and in most cases of astrophotography, let me get this off. In most cases of, see, this is just a standard diagonal. Um, in, in most cases of astrophotography, you're going straight through, and the camera is going to be attached here instead of hanging off uh, at a 90 degree angle. So uh, you get the advantage of uh, more configurations with, with this larger blocking filter. Uh, it comes with, and I don't have it here, I'm sorry, it comes with a two inch visual back that actually threads on here instead of the diagonal and then allows you to put in two inch nose piece accessories, uh, a camera with a two inch nose piece, uh, your own diagonal, for example, if you already had a, a two inch uh, diagonal. Um, and then that uh, thread on two inch uh, of visual back comes with a step down to one and a quarter. So you can use one and a quarter or two inch cameras and accessories. Um, so just extra versatility on the BF30, allowing you to go straight through or 90 degrees uh, up to the eyepiece up here. Well, I think I covered everything I wanted to uh, with the blocking filters. Um, hopefully this gives you an idea of which one to choose. Basically, uh, you can save some money in getting, uh, in getting the smaller blocking filter and it's perfectly good for visual and for maybe smaller uh, format uh, camera sensors and uh, eyepieces that are not very large apparent field of view or very high magnification. Uh, BF15 is sort of in the middle and then the BF30 has the, uh, the most versatility for the widest unvignetted view and also allowing for straight through uh, adapters as well. All right, thank you very much, clear skies.